Hello and welcome to this little tutorial about asset localization. In this example, we're going to localize a sound asset. Whenever this character attacks, it's playing an, a sound file. So we want it to change if the person is using another culture, for, for example, I don't know, Japanese or maybe Chinese. And we're in luck because this character will come with voice lines that are in English, Japanese, and Chinese. In this case, we are using the one called Healing Wind. And in Japanese, it will. Yeah, it sounds exactly like that. And that's in Chinese. So, any asset inside Unreal Engine can be localized. For example, if I right click this asset, I could go to Asset Localization and create a localized asset. But for now, it's just showing English. In order to show more cultures, you need to go to Window and open the Localization Dashboard. Here is the dashboard that let us localize mostly text. And we have gather text, etc. But in our case, we want Chinese and Japanese. We can add, add it this way. Let me remove it and add new culture. Search for Japanese. This is good enough. And now Chinese. You can see there are a lot of sub subcultures, but clicking on the main one, it's enough for this example. So now that we have selected these languages, you may try to do the same thing as a localization and it won't be there. You need to compile the text for some reason. And when the compilation ends, now success, now we will have the ability to localize assets to different languages. Now, you could localize this sound wave, but we us usually when when dealing with audio, we use cues, sound cues, create cue. In the case of the animation we're using, the one the cue that it's is using is jump attack. We know because we can go to the jump attack animation and here we have the notify to play the jump attack. So let's go to the jump attack and let me close this. Now, we want to localize it to Japanese and to Chinese. In this case, I will do only Japanese because it's it will be the same process for all the other languages. So let's start, right click, and asset localization, create localized asset. English, it's already in English, so Let's not worry about that. And let's click on Japanese. Now a folder will be will be created called L10N. If you don't see it, then you just need to check the show localized content. And it will appear there. This folder structure will be exactly the same as the as your asset. So be sure to have a clean project, well, neatly organized project. So whenever you are localizing assets, it's easier for you to find, for example, voice, uh, voice SFX, voice FX audio, UNF cleric, it's the same structure and the same name. Now, we localize this asset. How could we find it easily? We can right click and asset localization and show localized asset or edit localized asset. In my case, I go straight to edit it. So let's edit it. We can play the queue. And instead of using the, the one audio in English, I'm going to search for the one in Japanese. And now it's playing another audio asset in these localized assets. 
Now, how could we test it? In theory, it's already working, but in order for you to test it in editor, you would need to choose this option, a standalone game, because all the assets, when they are loaded, they won't change. So, if I press my attack button, we are hearing the the Japanese version, which I don't know if it, it should be correct. Let's change the culture. We can open the the console and in the command we type culture and let's change it to English because I was testing and probably the this the standalone editor is right now in in Japanese. So let's yeah it won't change immediately because if the asset is loaded then it will keep using that asset we will need to reload the game so i'm gonna open this map again open and the name is unf showcase that reloaded the map and let's see if it plays in english there it is now i will change the <laughs> The culture again, so it's more clear. Culture equals JA because that's the code name for Japanese. And again, if I expect it to change without reloading the, the map, it won't because the assets are already in memory. And the best way to flash the memory would be reloading the map and hopefully I can type this faster nope nope there it is and now there's the Japanese you have to take in consideration that this applies to assets that are loaded during during the during the game so if you have for example blood that in one culture is red and in another one maybe i believe that for australia a lot of games changes the color so it they don't get an a, a higher rating like they don't want a mature rating they want uh, a lower value so they change the the color yeah if you did that then you would need to to reopen or restart the game or the map in order for it to work. And yeah, that would be it. Um, just a, a, a small tip. Just remember that whenever you're packaging the game, you should, and um, let me close this, you should go to the project settings. If you are packaging from this, from these options and in the project settings here in packaging you would need to add the localizations to package otherwise it won't show up in your finished game or well if you're using the the project launcher then in your launch profile here i believe cook no nope. Package. Let's say I want to build on the fly by the book. There it is. Here in Cooked Cultures, you would need to select the ones that you are interested. So if you don't select this, you may have localized all, all your game, but in the .exe, it won't show up. So yeah, that would be it. Hopefully it was useful to you guys and i will see you next time oh um leave all the questions you want about this subject or well any subject you're, you guys are interested 
So yeah, see you next time.